clock watchers and price shoppers we've all had to deal with them so you know the thing is is what can we do so we don't attract them and that's the biggest issue is because most of the time that's what happens is that we're attracting the clock watchers and the price shoppers so you know the thing is that if you charge by the hour you're gonna attract the clock watchers plain and simple you know and then when it comes to offering discounts you attract price shoppers so if we're doing those things why don't we stop doing that so we don't attract these people they're not our ideal clients you know they're they're typically always asking for more and more and more and they they take up a lot of our time uh, and they're just they add stress to your life so why are we attracting them so when you're doing your marketing you know you're talking to a prospect about your services try to avoid talking about pricing by the hour you know price by the job and let the prospect know that let them know that you don't price by the hour you price by the job and once you gather all the information that you need on that home then you're going to be able to give them a price per service uh, rather than discussing a, 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 you know how much we price per hour which you know that brings up that whole thing about price per hour and now they're clock watching they you know if we say that we're gonna if we're selling a two-hour package well and it may only take us a, an hour and 45 minutes to do the cleaning well they're gonna be sitting there watching her well I still got 15 minutes worth of uh, cleaning to do here or you know that I get because that's what I paid for so that's what we have to avoid um, so again, you know, when we're doing any of our marketing or talking to prospects, you know, don't talk about pricing by the hour. Talk, and, talk by price per service, price for the job, uh, and then you'll hopefully you'll eliminate that whole clock watcher mentality. Again, you just don't want that type of client. And you know, the same thing is true when we start talking about the price shoppers. And you know, I don't know why it is that particularly in the residential industry companies offer discounts all the time just go, go look go go on Facebook or go anywhere and and look for an ad for somebody that's offering residential cleaning you know house cleaning maid service and you're always going to see that they're offering discounts well when you're offering discounts doesn't that attract the, the price shoppers typically so you know the same thing is true as if you're if you're on uh, Angie's list or any of these other types of things Craigslist and if you're marketing there those are all price shoppers you know the, the, the people aren't necessarily interested in value a majority of them are price shoppers how low up for a price can I get for cleaning and you know the same thing was true you know when you used to do the uh, the bundles um, and offering uh, you know uh, cut rate uh, pricing because we would get larger amounts of people uh, to sign up for the service but in any case uh, again you know uh, stop uh, stop selling on price stop discounting when you sell on price you attract price shoppers so just stop doing that so one thing that you can do is to identify who these people are is listen to the questions that they may ask you you know they the clock watchers may ask you know well how long will it take how long will the cleaning take you know um, they might ask uh, what is your price per hour or they may ask well or make a comment that I only want three hours of cleaning so you know just based off of those statements we already know that well wait a minute now this is a price shopper or uh, excuse me a, a clock watcher these people are more interested in the time than they are the quality and the, the value of the service. So make sure that you listen for those key, those key phrases, those key questions to identify those types of clock watchers. Now for the price shoppers, you know, you'll, you, you might get a comment that my old cleaner charged or your competitor charges or they might even say my budget is and they and they give you a price so again you know these are all um, uh, ways of identifying the price shoppers so now if we do that and we can identify these clock walkers and price shoppers we can avoid attracting them 
We can avoid doing the, th uh, the things that we do in our marketing, such as offering discounts or measuring price per hour. Um, and when we start to do these things, you know, we're not going to attract these clock watchers and price shoppers. Very important. So here's what you want to do is, first of all, stop and think. Um, are you currently offering discounts? Well, if you are, stop it. Now, the other thing is, is that think about what your ideal client looks like. Does your ideal client uh, you know, watch the clock and wonder how much time it's taking and uh, that they're getting their full, full uh, th uh, three hours or whatever? Or are they uh, somebody that was concerned about the price and, and not the value and the quality of service that they're going to get? Well, more than likely your ideal client fits that, fix that, uh, those characteristics. So that's what you want to do is you want to uh, target your, your ideal client. So if you start doing this, you're going to stop attracting the clock watchers and price shoppers. So hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, go ahead and click on the like, uh, like button and the share button down below. Make a comment. Love to hear your comments. Let me know, are you offering discounts and why? And, um, you know, I'm Steve Hansen, uh, co-founder of MyHouseCleaningBiz.com and TheJanitorialStore.com. And uh, thanks for checking in today, and we'll see you next time.